chosen ones. They laughed at your story. But God's going to make your story your glory. The joke's on them. Chosen ones, listen up. I was sitting here pondering, talking to myself before this video. The self-talk is the best talk. The self-talk is the best talk you're ever going to get. The self-talk is the best talk you're ever going to get. But as I was talking to myself, family, I said to myself, you know what? They all got fat while we starved. All your frenemies got fat while you starved. They all got fat while you starved. They all laughed. They all laughed at your pain. They all tried to take advantage of your weak point. You know what I'm saying? Your frailty, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because people are not perfect. And the only people who know this is the people who really love you. Like the people who really love you, bro. The people who really love you, bro. Those are people who really care, bro. Like I'm going to keep it 100. Like I'm really thinking, I'm feeling this in my gut right now. Man. The people who really love you, you will know them by their fruits. You will know them. What did God mean by that? You will know them because... When you wake up from the fall, from the depression, from the trial and error, from from whatever chains Satan got on your psyche, on your mind, on your, you'll see like, oh, they really did love me. Some of them really did love me. Unconditionally. Some love is unconditional. But unfortunately, family, we have to stay strong whether they love us or not. Because somebody could love you and still do something so horrible to you. They could love you and not care. That's sad on, on one level, right? On a gut, on a gut level, that, that hurts. But when you really are doing the shadow work, the journaling and the self-communication, you realize that we live in a cold world and, you know, the weak finish last or don't finish at all. And that's OK. As long as we not weak. And, you know, when you're on this working on yourself journey, you realize, like, I could have been weak yesterday and been totally strong today. Because I put in work, you know what I'm saying? I put in work and when you put in work. Um, you, you see who really love you, who don't who never really cared, but the people who, a lot of people did care. And unfortunately, life situations make it to where it's like monopoly, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to family and business, don't don't mess, match. Why you think when you get a new girlfriend or boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? Family members, like whenever you do something in life, family members, they looking at it. They not all always like it's, it, it ranges on a level of who's happy and who's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Because life is all competition. Like it's all competition. And people might been competing with you family that even when they see you get on your stuff, they're going to be like, man, I'm happy he got on his stuff. Win, lose or draw. Like, you know what I'm saying? People will compete with you. Some of your hardest competitors just don't want to lose. It's not even the fact that they hate you. They may love you more than everybody else. It's just that they really, they don't want to lose. Like, you feel me? So that's just the culture. Like, that's just the culture. Like, your self-love is another person's uh, terror. It's another person's literal loss. Like, it's their literal 
lost. And it's, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. So, like, you know, when you think about that, it's paradox. It's crazy. But, you know, I was thinking about how, like, everything is a sacrifice. Like, it's crazy because you, a lot of people online, they talk about, oh, look at this person. They sacrificed this person to get famous. They fact you see that all over the internet, right? But it's funny because when you think about it, that's actually life. Your parents sacrificed for you to be here, for you to live here, not to be here, but to live like they, they had to quit going to parties, quit doing this, quit doing that. I was even making an analogy. I was like, man, when I was younger, I had all the, like I had girls, like I had, I had a, like a, a, I had like a little roster, like, like without even like being a player or any of that, like it just like had options. You feel me? Like soon as I got a girlfriend, none of them girls was messing with me, bro. Like I lost them all. Never got them back. Like they're like, oh, don't you date? What you call it? Da 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 da. I'm, I'm like, you feel me? Yeah, but you feel me? I'm not a player, but I'm young, so I'm not really. I'm just me, like, you know what I'm saying? And girls like me for me, but like what I'm saying is sacrifice. Because deep down within, I did want to live out that, you feel me, that chapter of my life. And I see, like, you feel me, why, why is it God made us in his image? And God controls life and death, a.k.a. sacrifice, right? Oh, I'm gonna make this person die in the family so everybody can realize this, or I'm gonna do this. Okay. If God made us in his image, then that means that we control life and death. When you're really an adult and you're really mature, that means that you control you know, because look, the decisions you make as an adult really it really control life it really got to do with when you were a kid when you were a kid yeah you could do something you know crazy but you ain't gonna do nothing you feel me you a kid but even the lesson like i said about the girl sprint thing is like things had to happen for that to happen things had to happen for this to happen thing and when you look at it like that bro you be like, man, this world is crazy. You understand things a little deeper, why things happen and don't happen. And you be like, damn, bro. Another person eating because another person not. And you look at it and you be like, bro, like, um, that's real life. Even in nature, like, even in, that's nature. That's literal nature. Like, anything else is, Un unnatural like um and it make you respect life it make you it make you gotta be thankful you gotta be humble you gotta look at every little bite that you take every little thing you do like you gotta look at it like man i'm i'm thankful so thankful you know what i'm saying and god will make you like that i know a lot of people probably thought i was cocky And some people still think I'm that guy. But I, but they'll know by my fruits, right? They'll know by, okay, bet he not like that because he really chilling. He really chilling. That's really what I'm, I'm really chilling. Yeah, I wanna, yeah, I wanna be a YouTuber. Yeah, I wanna do my thing. I wanna get out the way. I wanna mind my business, but I certainly don't wanna take nobody girl. I certainly don't wanna, I'm saying, compete i don't want to put somebody down i don't want to uh like when i say put somebody down like i don't want to like uh call somebody names and you know joke them i don't want to do that this isn't a, a soft video for me to act all soft but this is a video with just me realizing like life and death is really in you feel me it's really awesome like It's the it's it's the it's the it's the it's the um reciprocal like it's the um when you bring a kid into the world you have to cut off a lot you it's like cutting off it's like a snake shedding skin like you can't be a kid no more like 
And a lot of people don't be ready for that, bro. And they miss that. They miss that. They miss them years and they be really, they, they don't get over that. Cause I didn't get over stuff I missed by being in a relationship. Cause in my gut, it's still going to always be there until I do it. Now, if you're really mature, you could say, okay, I, I just missed it. It is what it is. Right. Cause I did learn like, you know, the people who go through bad stuff in life is cause they say you go to jail, you get out of jail and you try to, be the person you was before you went to jail. You feel me? They say that's a bad thing to do. So shadow work would be a buddy of mine in that area. You know, don't try to be Mr. Cool. Don't try to be Mr. Player. Cause man, I got some thinking to do for, for myself. Like I've been really chilling. I'm like, man, look, bro, you gotta really grow. Like that's it. Like that's the only that's the only um, ingredient for the se this season. Like, with everything I'm saying in this video, like, you know how they say a woman could turn you from a boy to a man, da da da. Like, that's real talk. Like, it's not really the woman, it's the, it's the situation in general. But, like, for real, like, man, this is real life, bro. This is real life, like. I ain't even mean for the video to go this way, but I'm really feeling this this topic because it's like it's crazy. This is a human video, like just humanistic, just looking at how things reciprocate. Like, okay, bet this you got a written just like uh self-love can't be something you say you do. Like it gotta be something you really stand on. Like, man, I can't. I can't preach self love. I gotta be self love. Like say where when you when you young you look up to the person who's that. You don't look up to the person who tell you you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Like the pre the preachy guy, the preachy guy be cool, but the person who really living thing the guy preaching about really the cool person. Like we live in a world full of fakes and snakes and jakes. Like we gotta we gotta be real, bro. And and push him and, and you know that's really pushing p you know they say pushing p that's really pushing p pushing power you know what i'm saying instead of pushing poison we're pushing power um hang with friends who like you for who you are you feel me hang with friends who ain't gonna judge you for who you are you feel me don't jump in no relationships before you know who you are, you feel me? Because you just a kid, you feel me? Your parents was just a kid when they had you. So they not even about to teach you that. <laughs> you feel me? Like, that's a generational curse. A lack of information is a generational curse. But you sacrificing because you be yourself, you might lose a group of people who really was going to snake you in the end anyway. But then you gain yourself. And then not only do you gain yourself, but you gain. Um, I forgot what I'm about to say. I ain't going to lie to you. You gain power or something. I might have forgot what I'm about to say. But you do gain power. You do gain power. Spiritual, mental, emotional. All of that. You know what I'm saying the worst thing you could do is sacrifice yourself. The best thing you could do is say, man, listen, man, like, I love myself. You feel me? Like, that's it. <laughs> Period. The bottom line. When you don't love yourself, bro, people, they go in front. They're going to act like they love you, but they can't love you if you don't love yourself, bro. People, you honestly, excuse my French, you piss people off when you're not being yourself. They just don't say it, but it's a letdown, like. But people could tell that it's a letdown, you feel me? <clears throat> yeah, so you gotta that's what I was trying to say. You gotta stand on other things, but when look, this is what it is. If you hang with this crowd of people, this crowd of people stand on one thing, this crowd of people stand on another thing, this crowd of people. So what I'm saying is the values change in the group. 
So if you hang out with the skateboarding kids, they don't care about this other stuff. If you hang out with the kids who rob, they care about something else. You know, the politics change, you feel me? The state, the state laws change, the, 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 you know what I'm saying? And that's one thing that be hard, bro, when you born to a family, which we all are, that the laws never change. The laws never change. That's why you can move away from your family, move back, and then they damn near kill you from stress because they trying to really relate to you the way they always related to you. And they not they not respecting the new nothing you doing new. They like man, nothing change. You feel me? <clears throat> this is why I say like when you take a step forward, stand on it. Even if it don't feel comfortable, stand on it. That's called faith. You gotta struck. You gotta be like it feel ugly right now, but guess what? I know I got something coming, and not only do I got something coming, but you got to develop skills to make stuff come like feel me like okay i can't make it rain i can't make the rain come but i can make something i can make i can make a situation that feels suitable enough until i get what i want to come survival skills so a lot of people they don't got that and that that'd be the biggest thing you waste your time hanging with people who, you know, you, you don't need to hang with. And then guess what happened? You, you don't even gain no survival skills from that. Because y'all sitting around looking stupid. Joking on each other. Cracking jokes. How two people who a joke going to crack a joke on each other? Look. <clears throat> Look. Look. Life, we only get one as far as we know. I believe in reincarnation, but that's a whole other video. If we only got time right now, unlimited time, I'm not about to play with you, bro. Are you serious? That's what you want to do? I don't want to do that, man. Like, that's like if I'm about to have a chick come over to my crib and she cute. In my mind, I could, okay, I could try to have sex with her or I could try to make some money or I could try to like, we could try to do something different, bro. We could try to do something. We could, we could start, we could, we could, we could, we could start farming. We could start a farm. We could start a farming business. Like, like stop thinking in terms of kid, like stop thinking like a kid. You feel me? I, I came to the conclusion like bro like yeah I like having sex yeah da 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 but I'm not about to I'm not about to like sacrifice sacrificing it. it's saying okay like every time you communicate with a person or a conversation you either about to take it's it's like being on a road because once you take a certain like I said like once you make a girl your girlfriend or once you take certain steps you can't go back because. And now they see you a certain way, like oh he val he values sex. Like when you meet a girl, they looking at you as a man. So what you say matters. Like I was talking to a girl yesterday, and I was just conversating, simple conversation. And I'm starting to do this more often, but I'm just talking to them because I I want to just talk. Like I want to just talk to you. Like guys nowadays, like. We lost it, bro, because it used to be all about genuineness, you feel me? And it still is. It still is. And that's the problem. It still is. And so when we got into this Chief Keep era with all this bang, bang, shoot them up, it was fun and it was thorough, but it, 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 it diluted the 20s. You know, it diluted the 1995s and the 2000 era. It diluted it because it made everybody think they had to be in, you know, uh, defensive or, you know, trauma. Like trauma was being pushed too, too, too much. Like, like where did when you're in trauma, you can't enjoy life. You can't bring the vibe. The vibe. You can't. You can't 
rest your shoulders down. You feel me? Your shoulder, you can't rest it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, technically it's pushing you to not be yourself because if that's not how you is, then it's like it's kind of it's kind of forcing the uh, um, get in or get out type of situation. So, like, like I said, like your life will be manipulated if you're not always working on it. If you're not, if you're not always working on it, like, okay, bet I'm not even gonna hang with this group of people because this group of people are not my type of people. Whether they think it or not, that's a different story. But I'm not about to think what they think it because. You know, that's called group in therapy. They call that group think. Group think. A lot of people they fall into group think. I don't, I don't, I don't mess with the group think. That's where all disease come from. Everything wrong in my life came from group think. Everything poisonous in my life came from that. I swear to I put that on anything. Everything in my life that went bad came from group think. Cause my intuition already knew. Cause I'll be saying no, I'll be saying I'll, I'll be saying no. Nah, I don't. I, I, I'll be I'll be on the fence about certain stuff, and then you know, certain things will make it like oh nah, like it'll make it like pressure. You know what I'm saying? Pressure basically, and I'm like man, look, that's a waste of ten years, eight years. But is it like I said? It's a sacrifice. It's a give and a take because then you gotta ask yourself, like, man, would you rather went through that at that age or go through it in your thirties? So then you gotta humble down again and think again. See, see, God always forces you to think again. Ruminate on that. Don't just get in your feelings and stay there. Because everything not you know, life is fair and square. You get paid for your pain. Don't think you don't get repaid. You get you get um, reimbursed for everything you go through. So don't think that your pain ain't pleasure. That's why people are so scared of pain. Because they don't think it's going to come with nothing that's worth having, bro. You tripping. That's why you don't enjoy your life because you don't embrace the pain. Like, when you go through pain, you develop stuff other people can't have, whether it's good or bad, but you develop stuff other people can't have. They don't got access to a level of consciousness, you know, a level of intensity, your higher pain tolerance. All internal, baby. You know what I'm saying? They hate you for your pain. When 50 Cent came out with that, with that, um, I was watching a video of him yesterday. He was doing a little, little gangster dance and just rapping. I'm like, man, he was the only person moving like 50 Cent. That was God saying, your pain brought you all of this. People can't even fake it. They can't even try to be like you because you're the chosen one at that point. You're different, bro. And we all different, but we don't live in our differences. We don't live in the differences. Like we too quick to group to group think. They think it's bad. So now that actually matters to you. They think it's bad, but you know what I'm saying? You don't realize how much of a whole people got on you. You don't see it. You don't know. How far ahead could you be? How far ahead do you want to be? is a better question. Because maybe you don't even want to go as far as God wants you to go. Maybe you want to go 80%. I think that life is 
all good when you, you know, when you die the way you want to die. Like, I think it's all good. Like, when you go the way you want to go, I think just, just, just you're going to be happy. Regardless. Imagine dying, feeling like you achieved that, that oh, fuck, fuck, you know, breathe my last air out, let it go. I did what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is kind of like, okay, of course you're going to feel like, you know, first of all, people got the fear of missing out. So you feel like you're missing out. Second, you feel pain, which you don't want to feel. You feel all this stuff. But I'm just saying, that's why you got to be thankful for every day. Every day you do have. Highly thankful. But it's, see, it's that it's not you can't you can't say you thankful and not be physically doing the things that thankful people be doing, because then the universe gonna call you on that like oh you lying, you saying you thankful, but then you're neglecting stuff that got to do with being thankful, so the universe gonna say nah you not really thankful you friend. You know what I'm saying? So. You got to be thankful. It's too many things to be thankful about, but it's also too many things to make you say, uh, to question your thankfulness. Like, am I thankful? I don't, I don't, you know. It's, it's enough stuff on earth equal to equalize your thankfulness. So if you become thankful, it's also going to be a dark thought behind that that make you feel like, you might as well just not be thankful about that because look at all this stuff that's gonna come with you being thankful about that. And it's not, but it's like, nah. The best bet is to be thankful. Always. Unless it's something you really ain't thankful about. Then that's when you that's when you don't be thankful when you stand on that. You know what I'm saying? It's simple logic. It's simple logic. It's simple logic, but obviously it's harder to be, you know, and live with consequences and stuff like that. So, like I said, it's like, you know, make your bed laying it type thing. Like, you can't hang with, look, look. I'm trying to explain something that's an action. Basically, like it, that's really what it is in this video. Like, I can't, y'all know what I'm saying though. At the end of the day, like, if you don't like what your life look like, change it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's a period. So I can't really go beyond that without you making this video extra long because it's just going to be very uh, apprehensive. I think that's the word, like, very expansive or whatever. Like, very gray area like like all i'm saying is like if it's anything you don't like bro change it bro because it's a sacrificial game so like meaning you gotta weigh it out for however long you gotta weigh it out and then uh and do what it is that you uh predicting is or hypothesizing is you know better for you that's being an adult you know what i'm saying other than that, you a kid because you allowing your, your your people to dictate how you like not only how you move because how you okay you could move anyway but how you feel like that's the worst part in my opinion like like you you at least have dominion over how you feeling like let them okay if you're gonna listen to what they say or not. That's different, but on the outside, right, on the surface. But on the internal, like, I'd be like, man, it feels so good, so nobody inside of me, like, it's a difference. Like, I don't really care if I look soft in the situation or I look like a punk or I look like, you know, a mama's boy or I look, you know, we don't really be caring how we look. Like, let's be honest, we don't, you know, that's the, we could, we could kind of, like, get over that. Like, like, man, that's surface. Like, they just looking, like, who cares what they think, like. But when somebody, when when you care what, you know, you got somebody or a mother or a narcissist or whoever, and they're kind of inside of you, like, in a way, like, in your heart, like, they kind of, like, you, 
you care what people think, it's like, that's when that's kind of like ruining your life. You feel me? That's why people say move out, move out of your city, you know, get around some other people because you realize in them times how much you was sacrificing by staying there. Because them people was injecting you with their thoughts, like, with this, you know, you felt you felt when someone didn't like what you was doing. You felt it. You didn't. They didn't tell you. You just knew. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's it's very healthy to just be in environments where people really don't really know you. They really don't really care what you're doing. You know, it's it's liberated. They don't really care what you talk about. Like, because yeah. what you say don't really matter. Cause we strangers, we don't really know each other. But like, a lot of times people be needing that reverse, right? Because when you in your hometown, you around your mom, or your your narc dad or whoever, everybody care about every little thing you do. Oh, he got a new T-shirt. Oh, like, 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 who who think he is? Da 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 da. He think he fresh. Da 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 da. He got a new girlfriend. Da da. It's like, bro, I can't do one thing without it surfacing. You feel me? And that's how it be. And that's why people live their whole life like that. And that's highly devastating. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. Just know, like like I said, you got to, you know, make your bed and lay. But make sure you make the right bed. Make sure you do it the right way. It's a way to do everything. And people skip steps. And when you skip steps, that do lead to a recoiling situation. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Because then you're not being the best version of yourself. You're being uh, something else. You feel me? Um, so that's how that be a lot of the time. So, you know, that's how it be. You know what I'm saying? That's the science of that. So like, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next video. Next video will be coming out probably later today. Um, trying to do like three videos today. I'm going to keep it on it. So, yeah, man, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and see how next video I'm out. Oh, yeah, this is what my breakfast looking like. I'm trying to start a farm and a garden. So I'm starting to follow a lot of people on Instagram. I'm trying to, that's how I'm going to start, like, following people on Instagram who are into farming and stuff. I'm trying to have some friends, like, some farming friends. But this is what my breakfast looks like right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. This is my breakfast, bro. This is my breakfast. This is seedless. So... I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to try, bro. Like, trying to try, bro, because the devil be working just as much as, you know what I'm saying, sometimes. So it's like, you'll eat that, but then what you eating later, you feel me? It be on some, like, if you don't got the funds, you still in the pickle, but we going to make it through this, man, because I like the fast. That's how I got at the devil. I got at the devil by learning to love the fast, because I'm different, like, you know, I'm going to force myself to learn the thing that most people going to run from. Like, so that's how I'm going to, you know, I'm different. Man. So I'm benefiting every day when I do that. So, you know, until I could get, until I could get my little farm together. If I can't get my farm together, then, you know, I, you know, what I expect, I, you know, got to eat what's around and stuff like that. So. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next video.